Hi there, my name's Philip and I'm going to do a quick video on installing 3CX IP PBX. Now 3CX is a IP PBX um, and allows you to connect SIP phones and SIP uh, telephony uh, service providers uh, all together also with um, VoIP gateways. Um, what that means is that you'll be able to connect uh, standard SIP phones um, to your PBX and then route calls either out over to a uh, internet service provider um, to obviously terminate the calls or to uh, if you have say for example you have uh, some PSTN or ISTN lines in your um, office or building um, then you can send the calls out through those or if there's a cheaper um, ISP doing um, cheaper rates to uh, landlines or mobiles then you can uh, set up dialing plans to send the calls out um, either way. Uh, the advantages um, for uh, 3CX or an IP PBX um, is that there's uh, no proprietary um, hardware so basically it's all open standards you can pick up any um, off-the-shelf uh, SIP phone so a SNOM or a Yealink um, or a Linksys um, and it will all play nicely together. So what we're going to do here is install 3CX phone system uh, version 10 um, and then we're going to configure one extension and go through some of the options um, that 3CX gives us. Right so here we've got the installer which you can download from the 3CX website. Uh, you will have to enter uh, some details about yourself just uh, your name uh, your company name and an email address um, and then you can obviously access the the downloads area so we're just going to launch this um, installation and we're going to say run so we're going to click on run and the installer will um, extract its files and then it will do some checking on the system to make sure that the system is compatible um, normally with 3CX um, you can install it on virtually any um, type of hardware that you um, currently have in your office um, it will coexist and play nicely with um, other uh, other systems, other softwares, um, providing you obviously take into account what that particular software needs and what 3CX needs. Um, so on here, for example, we need uh, one gigabyte of RAM or higher, a Pentium 4, um, and it will work on most Windows operating systems. Um, so we're just going to click on Next. Uh, the, I must point out the only reason that you would install this as a standalone um, PBX is if you have a very high um, amount of users that are going to be connecting to your system. Um, so, yeah, like we say, we're going to click next. Uh, we're going to just click next. Where we're going to accept the license agreement and click next it's going to prompt us where we want to install the uh, the PBX and it's just going to be the default of program files and 3CX phone system and click next. Um, for my particular installation it's greyed out and automatically selected uh, the Abyss web server um, however on other systems uh, you can install it with Microsoft IIS which is actually the preferred way to install it uh, because it scales a lot better um, but in my case because I'm on a, a Windows XP um, uh, Windows XP 32-bit service pack 3 computer with all the latest patches and updates um, this is just selected uh, the Abyss um, web server and click next and now we're ready to begin the installation process so I'm just going to click on install and it's going to go through and examine all of the prerequisites um, anything that it needs it will go out and find and download or it will prompt you uh, what you need and then install uh, then you'll have to go and obviously install that particular package 
Um, so on my computer it's saying that we need to download uh, .NET 4 framework. Um, so what I'm going to do is pause the video um, and come back once we've installed the .NET framework. So as you can see now, uh, .NET Framework uh, version 4 has been downloaded successfully and is now uh, proceeding to install it onto this particular system. So we'll come back once this has, uh, once it's uh, completing the installation of .NET. Okay, so .NET 4 has now been uh, installed successfully, so I'm just going to click on Finish and ideally what you would do is restart the computer and then carry on installing 3CX. Um, I'm going to pause the video, restart and we'll come back once this is uh, restarted. Okay so we're back with 3CX uh, installation. Um, it's now continued and is uh, proceeding to install the 3CX um, phone system. And as you can see it's copying the files across to the computer. and we're just going to pause the video here and we'll catch up with it once it's uh, finished copying the files across. Okay so as you can see all of the files have copied across and 3CX has been installed successfully so we're just going to click finish and what it should do now is launch a little wizard to guide us through the process of um, setting up uh, 3CX for the first time. So I'm just going to close this window in the background. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to select English because I'm English. Um, click Next. Uh, my local IP address. Uh, if you have multiple interfaces then you can select uh, whichever one um, you're going to be using for 3CX. Uh, the public IP address, that's going to be your WAN address. Um, so, for example, if you're going to be having remote sites connect, um, but in this case I'm just going to uh, leave this blank because I'm not going to have any sort of remote sites or uh, remote workers connecting back into this uh, system. Um, on this page, 3CX gives you the option to restore a backup or restore existing settings from uh, another PBX um, and there's a video on YouTube at the moment um, labelled I think it's uh, 3CX restoring um, your settings but we're just going to create a new PBX for the time being. I'm going to use uh, four digit dialing for uh, my uh, PBX and I'm going to set um, the SMTP service so that it can send me um, email notifications such as voicemails, uh, system updates um, and anything uh, of that nature. Um, so I'm just going to leave that as uh, default for the time being. Uh, you, If you were going through and doing this uh, for real you would enter your either your internal mail server or your um, SMTP uh, mail server that's been assigned to you by your ISP. And here we're going to select a administrator username and password. So I'm just going to enter one here. Um, and we'll need this later for logging on and administrating the system. Here I'm going to create an extension. Um, I'm going to select 1000 for a receptionist. Um, I'm going to call it uh, Recep um, and everything else we're just going to leave as default. Um, on the bottom here there's the option to uh, you can enter the MAC address of a phone and then select the model that you're using from the list and 
three CX does provide a lot of um, phones that it can auto provision, um, and obviously the auto provision address would be the address that you're using for three CX. So in if you have uh, loads of interfaces or loads of IP addresses assigned to a uh, a computer, you can just select that from here. So I'm just going to click on Add. Uh, we can set up extensions later and that will be covered in the next part of this video. Uh, so the operator extension, um, I'm just going to have that as 1000. Voicemail extension, um, I'm going to uh, leave that as is. Um, on this page it asks you uh, to specify if you're using a um, a VoIP gateway um, such as um, Gradwell or OrbTalk um, uh, let's see what else is on the uh, on the list um, if you're using uh, VoIP Talk for example then you'd select that from the list or you could just create a generic SIP trunk um, I'm just going to skip this because I'm not going to attach a SIP trunk to this system at the moment. And now 3CX will go through and create the database. It will uh, put uh, loads of information in there for you um, and then start up all of the services so that you can then uh, auto provision a phone or you can just manually uh, configure a phone to connect to 3CX. So here you can see that it's uh, now starting up all of the core services uh, for 3CX. And as you can see, that's now uh, done. So I'm just going to click on Next. Uh, registration. Uh, do you want to register with um, 3CX themselves? Uh, for this, I'm just going to skip it. But it's a good idea and good practice to register with them. Um, so I'm just going to skip that. And on the final screen, I'm just going to click on Finish. and then it takes you to the uh, the web admin for 3CX um, so that's the installation and configuration of uh, one extension the next in the next part of this video we're going to go through some options um, in the uh, web admin um, for one of the extensions